uh, this is our basic circulatory system it consists of heart uh, the red side here is the arterial side and the black side here is a venous side okay now see whenever whenever we have a any change in the function of the heart like positive inotropy or negative inotropy it will cause change in the cardiac function curve see see this graph first see here if there is positive inotropy then the cardiac function curve which is uh, shown in the red it will move to the left if there is negative inotropy the cardiac function curve will move to the right there is no change in the venous function curve so whenever you get a question which or a graph in the question which shows a change in cardiac function curve but there is no change in venous function curve see see you don't have to uh, pay attention to cardiac output venous return and diastolic volume or right atrial pressure right now just focus on the focus on the curves okay see there is change in the cardiac function curve but there is no change in the venous return curve see the curve is normal venous return curve so problem will always be in the uh, heart i mean problem means uh, there will be positive inotropy or there will be negative inotropy okay so see the graph a it refers to the uh, change in the function of the heart see i will mark it as a a c okay now whenever there is change in the function of the veins like change in the function means uh, whenever there is increase in the venous tone or decrease in the venous tone or there is increase in the blood on the venous side or there is decrease in the blood it will always uh, cause change in the venous curve see the cardiac function curve is not changed at all only there is change in the venous function curve you don't have to pay attention to cardiac output venous return or anything given on the x axis okay just focus on the curves okay in exam or in any question if you get a change in vas uh, vascular function curve uh, but there is no change in the cardiac cardiac function curve then it means that there will be either increase or decrease in venous tone or increase or decrease in the blood volume now when you increase the venous tone uh, the ven venous return increases and the this uh, venous return curve uh, venous fun uh, vascular function curve it moves to the right okay whenever there is uh, veno dilation okay then the venous return decreases and the curve moves to the left so in case of veno constriction the curve moves to the right in case of veno dilation the curve moves to the left in case of increase in blood volume like fluid infusion the curve will move to the right and in case of acute hemorrhage where there is blood loss there will be low, low venous return and the curve will move to the left you don't have to pay attention on these values right now okay just see focus on the curves which curve are changed if cardiac uh, cardiac function curve is changed it will be surely positive or negative inotropy if venous uh, vascular function curve is changed it will be surely anything related to the venous return change in the venous return okay so see this part venous side let mark it let's mark it by b okay see this is the b okay now uh the, the which is the last part left in the circulatory system it's arterioles okay or the arterial side now see if there is a change in the cardiac function curve it will be always uh, something change with the change in the function of heart if there is change in the vascular function curve it will be all, always related to the venous side okay but if there is change in both vascular function curve as well as cardiac function curve then always it will be related to the arterioles arterioles right arterioles or arterial side it will be always related to that uh, change in the total peripheral resistance see here this is the normal point okay now if you cause arteriolar dilation it will also increase cardiac output it will also increase the venous return so in case of arteriolar dilation like uh, drugs like hydralazine okay Uh, they will cause the uh, curve to move upward it will increase both cardiac output and venous return by decreasing the total peripheral resistance if you give arteriolar constriction it will cause the opposite change decrease in cardiac output and decrease in venous return curve so see now remember it like this any only change in cardiac function curve then it is related with heart always 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 like catecholamines and digoxin i i will read the examples of uh, first aid see the catecholamines and digoxin both will uh, increase the cardiac output okay uh, it will be po have positive inotropic effect so they will uh, cause the cardiac function curve to uh, move to the left side 
इन केस ऑफ नेगेटिव आइनोट्रॉपी लाइक हार्ट फेलियर और नार्कोटिक ओवरडोज इट विल कॉज द कार्डिय फंक्शन का टू मूव टू द राइट साइड सिमिलर इज विद वास्कुलर फंक्शन का वेन एवर देर इज चेंज इन द वीनस रिटर्न आइदर ड्यू टू वीनस टोन और ड्यू टू इंक्रीज और डिक्रीज इन द ब्लड वॉल्यूम ओनली देर विल बी चेंज इन वास्कुलर फंक्शन का देर विल बी नो चेंज इन द कार्डिय फंक्शन का ओके and if there is change in both vascular function curve as well as cardiac function curve then it will it is always related to arterioles uh, i e the total peripheral resistance okay so see let's revise it once again change in cardiac function curve change in heart function change in venous function curve change in venous tone or volume total blood volume if there is change in both cardiac and venous function curve then it is always related to the tone of arterioles or it is uh, like uh, total peripheral resistance now the three most confusing examples according to first aid we this we always means i always forget are narcotic overdose spinal anesthesia okay and av shunt now spinal anesthesia it basically blocks the sympathetic system and its main effect is seen on the venous tone okay and the av shunt as everybody know it decreases the uh, total peripheral total peripheral resistance okay another term is mean systemic pressure and i will show you where where is mean systemic pressure in the graph okay see this point is the mean systemic pressure okay and what the, what basically this point means see uh, let's explain if you increase the right atrial pressure okay if you increase the right atrial pressure the venous return will always decrease okay because the vein has to apply more force to get the blood push the blood into the right atrium so as you increase the right atrial pressure the venous return will decrease now if you will keep on increasing right atrial pressure there will be one value of uh, one value of right atrial pressure at which the venous return becomes zero okay and this this value of right atrial pressure at which the venous return becomes zero is called mean systemic pressure and this it is never occurs in normal life okay it is just a hypothetical situation and that is what we call mean systemic pressure uh, the pressure of right atrium at which the venous return becomes zero okay so this is all for the cardiac and vascular function curves